Hey guys, it's Michaela, and you are watching Fun Size Style. As you can tell from the title, things are looking up a little bit, and I have an update for you, and I wanted to share it. So, I don't anticipate this video to be too long, but I feel like, obviously, it's a Fun Size Style video, and I've said that before, and the video ends up being long, but let's be real, I just love chatting with you guys, and sharing about my life in probably too much detail, but anyway. As you can tell from the title, that my bone anchored hearing aid placement surgery has been rescheduled in a much better time frame than I could have ever anticipated, and I'm very excited, and so I wanted to share with you, give you some updates, and hopefully what will be happening, but let's be real, I'm not counting on anything until I'm literally being rolled into the OR because literally anything could happen at any time and at this point the way things have gone with getting this bone anchored hearing aid implanted into my head don't count your chickens until they hatch as they say the surgery is rescheduled for February 2nd 2022 honestly when they called and told me that I was shot in December of 2021 they had to cancel or like postpone over 200 surgeries, I think. I'm not sure. This was back in December of last year, obviously 2021. Staff and patients were testing positive for C19. And obviously, like, when my surgeon called me and told me that she had to postpone it last week because she tested positive for C19, I was obviously thankful that she was fine, and I'll get to that in a minute. But I was obviously gutted because I, I had heard about all these surgery cancellations happening and I knew that obviously like, if they were scheduled before me like, all these other people had to get back put back on the schedule and all these things my original surgery date was booked back in August of last year and back in August of last year January 12th my original surgery date was the soonest available so going on that pattern I anticipated not to be rescheduled until April or May at the earliest and so when they told me February 2nd, I was absolutely thrilled. My surgeon advocated hard for me. She felt so, so bad, even though obviously this was 100% out of her control. And it just happens. And there's literally nothing she could have done to prevent this. And it's just one of those things. And we all know that it's been a long road for me to get here. And again, it's just been one of those things. And if you missed my last video, the reason that my bone and good hearing aid surgery got postponed was because my surgeon tested positive two days before my surgery and I had seen her on that Friday and my surgery was on a Wednesday. She tested positive two days before. So we don't actually know if she had C19 because two days after she called me, I had messaged her to like see how she was doing because everyone is affected by C19 it's so different. And I was just like curious and making sure she was like doing okay. She had already tested negative. Could have very well been a false positive. We will never know, but she's fine now. I'm fine. I never got symptoms. I was fine, and everyone's fine as of now, but the day that I'm filming this, this is two weeks before my, my rescheduled surgery date of February 2nd, 2022, and like I said, I was absolutely shocked that she was able to pull this off again just knowing how many other people had their surgeries postponed in the month of december because of c19 but she knows again how long of a road this has been for me I, by the time i get it implanted in my head it will have been six months since i've been waiting it's been a lot so i wanted to let you guys know of the new date february 2nd 2022 and one of you pointed out on my instagram the date is two 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 and however many twos all twos, which is like kind of crazy, so I'll always remember that day and must mean it's gonna be a good day. So. I am excited, to be honest with you, it's really hard to get excited just because of how long of a road this is and I'm trying to think positive, but the reality is I fear that it could get postponed again for whatever reason, um, obviously, whatever God's will and God's timing is, but it's just really hard to, like, honestly like, get excited about it. Again, only not in worry, because I'm not, like, worried, but, like, I want to be dis disappointed again. Whatever God's timing and God's will is, is what it will be, and that's all that I count on. My orthopedic surgeon still coming, like, everybody's still coming, but my original surgery day, I was supposed to be pushed one. At 7:30, um, because my surgeon wanted to just get me in as soon as possible, we wanted to take whatever slot was available, and that new slot is like later in the afternoon. Just a bummer because I'll be NPO, obviously. It's just gonna be a long day. The OR is booked for four hours, but at least we don't have to get up at 
3.30 a.m. this time, so that's a bonus. It's supposed to be a little bit different than I was expecting with a later time, but it's like really fine. I'm just glad to get it done, and I don't have to get up at 3.30 a.m. so I can be there like somewhat well rested. Uh, so yeah, I am came on here to, to share. I'm just rambling now because there's really not too much to share other than it's been rescheduled. And I'm gonna do a separate video. I'll see this the day before my surgery. I'm gonna post it sharing my heart about what this means for me. And not that I haven't shared before, but like, sort of, I don't know. But like I said, it is hard to get excited. I know it could get postponed again. So I'm just praying that I stay healthy, my surgeon stays healthy, everybody stays healthy, we have safe travel weather, and I can just finally get this behind me once and for all. I'm gonna try this again, round two, just grateful for a team who really been fighting for me and advocating for me and doing the best that they can in these wild circumstances that have been put in front of us. I say a prayer that I stay healthy and both of my surgeons stay healthy so that we can finally get this done and everybody involved stays healthy and we have good travel weather. But things will finally start looking up again soon after a really tough year and a half. Even the beginning of this year has been tough. The past almost two two years of my life have been really tough, but I'm determined to make this year a good year, and I have so much to update you guys on in other aspects of my life, and I just have so much content to put out there for you guys and so much of my life update on, but that's it for now. This is the update. Take two, February 2nd, 2022. Walking number two all the way around. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being on the road, this journey with me. Lifting me up during the most difficult times. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Cheers to the next step of receiving the gift of sound.